Welcome back to the Olmstead Workshop. Today we're going to do a little project for my nephews since Christmas is coming up and it's going to be a little take on an old fashioned wooden toy that my grandfather actually made when I was a kid. So let's take a look. So I started by cutting two pieces of whiteboard to the approximate size of my project and double stick taping them together so I could make two of these at once. Uh, which turned out beneficial because I ended up messing up on one, so I did have to spare. I just traced a template that I printed out onto the wood and began cutting it on the bandsaw. Now this would have been much easier on a scroll saw, so you will see me make tons of relief cuts to try to get as close as possible to my template before I had to go in by hand and clean it up with a coping saw. A few minutes later... A little longer than a few minutes later. As you can see, this did take me quite a long time, approximately about 20 minutes. Here I clamped my workpiece down to the table and began drilling holes through the hands. I didn't use an exact measurement, just where the rope would cause enough friction to hold it in place. Here I'm using a piece of scrap redwood to make the hanger. I began by drilling three holes, which I eventually countersunk, in order to tie the rope through the piece without having any exposed knots. I also eventually rounded this piece over just to make it a little bit more friendly for little hands. Here I have my workpiece side by side and you can see I drew some uh, boundary lines for the main colors and I just began uh, painting it in. This piece did take a couple of coats of red to cover all the paint lines as this white wood really soaks up the paint. Here I've gone in and drawn the detail lines in pencil once the paint dried and I'm just going over them with a fine tip sharpie and then I was going to seal it all with a spray coat of polyacrylic finish. Here you can see how I've tied the rope through the piece of the hanger and I'm just giving it a light coat of boiled linseed oil to protect it. And finally the first official test, I was actually really pleased with how nice this turned out. Thanks for tuning into the Olmstead Workshop and I hope to see you all again in the future.